What is up, epic people of the internet? My name is Nate, and I hear you need to get on the battlefield of Foxhole in less than 8 minutes. You've come to the right place, let's make a soldier out of you. When you jump into the world of Foxhole, you'll start in the middle of nowhere with a pistol and a hammer. Pretty straightforward stuff, pistols make people die, and you hit shit with hammers. Rotate your view by holding middle mouse and moving your mouse. Press tab to open your inventory, and you can see a bunch of different controls in the bottom left hand corner of your screen to move around your inventory more fluidly. Note in your inventory screen you'll see an encumbrance percent in the middle of your screen. The higher the encumbrance, the slower you walk. At this point, press M to open your map. You'll see yellow and blue logos on the map marking the towns and which team controls them. Blue are wardens, yellow are colonials, so based on which team you chose when you joined the server, those are your towns. Now try to find that little cute little orange arrow. That's you. That's your location on the map. Each server will have a few front lines where fighting is occurring, and these are typically on the borders of the territory where warden towns meet colonial towns. The goal of the game is to capture the next enemy town in the map, collecting them all for your team. You can do various tasks to help your team. The first task you can choose is to fight on the front line as a soldier. The second is to join a supply line and run logistics to bring supplies to the front line, or build defenses to help defend the front line from enemy advances. Communication is a key part of this game, so if you're not communicating, you're not helping your team. So if you don't want to communicate, Foxhole is not the game for you. You can chat via text by pressing enter and typing your message. Press enter and then tab to switch your group you're talking to. So you can switch between all chat, team chat, coalition chat, and local chat. Press and hold T and begin talking to use voice chat. Voice chat can only work for players in your general area. So typically I use the rule that if they're on your screen, you can talk to them. Now that we've gone over the basics, proceed to run to the nearest town that you own in order to use the different buildings and help benefit your team. In the top left of your map, you'll see a key for different icons on the map. Each icon serves a different purpose and will be discussed in this video. First, go to the town hall, which is marked by the team icon in each town. Here, you'll want to set your spawn point by clicking the button in the middle of your screen that says set spawn point at town hall. In the town hall inventory, you'll see the icon what looks like a blanket. These are called spawn supplies. These allow your team to spawn at the town hall. So one spawn supply equals one spawn at that town hall. These are similar to tickets in other games, so basically you don't want to run out of spawn supplies because then your team cannot spawn at that town hall and you will lose that city because you cannot get to it fast enough to defend it from enemy attack. The next thing you want to do is head to the screw icon on your map to use your hammer to collect scrap. Bring the scrap that you just collected to the hammer icon on your map to use the manufacturing plant to convert these scrap into basic materials. Note, pressing the E key is your action key to interact with various buildings, vehicles, and chests. These basic materials you just made are used to make guns, ammo, trucks, defenses, and repair various utilities on the map. Now that you have materials, you can make various supplies needed to crush your enemies. So let's go to the gun icon on your map to make guns and ammo. This includes your standard rifles, SMGs, machine guns, mortars, grenades, rocket launchers, etc., and all the ammo you need for them. When picking up ammo, note that the number next to your icon is the number of clips and not the number of bullets. A lot of new players will make this mistake and carry too much ammo into battle with them, just giving free ammo to the enemy. You don't want to carry too many magazines into battle with you. Two to four will be more than plenty. If you use more than that, you can definitely scavenge off dead bodies around you. You want to pick your weapons based on the type of role you want to play in the game. You typically can only carry one weapon and ammo type before becoming over encumbered. So that means you can't carry a rifle and you can't carry mortar. So you can either be basic infantry or you be mortar support in this case. Making the use of different roles is very important to successfully pushing back the enemy. Next, let's go to the first aid cross on your map to make medical supplies. Basically, there's three types of medical supplies you can use. Bandages heal yourself, medkits heal teammates, and trauma kits revive down teammates. You can use these different medical supplies by equipping them in your inventory and then holding down left click near the appropriate person to use them on. Next, let's go to the wrench icon on your map where we can make binoculars, radios, artillery shells, gas masks, and etc. All your basic other equipment other than ammo and weapons. Here you can also make sledgehammers which are very important in harvesting components. You can harvest components at the nut icon on your map. These components are used to create refined materials at the manufacturing plant similar to scrap. These are your more advanced resources used to make the higher tier vehicles and defenses. Okay, it's time to get some vehicles. Go to the truck icon to make a supply truck, artillery gun, or half track, the three vehicles currently in the game. Pro tip for you new players, save the artillery guns for the experienced players at first. Get used to it, try to team up with a guy who knows what he's doing in order to learn the artillery gun. You can select the vehicle you want to make by entering the vehicle factory and selecting the type there. 
Then a ghosted image of the vehicle will appear in the hangar bay of the vehicle factory. Now equip your hammer and with resources in your inventory, begin hammering away at the ghosted vehicle image. You'll need fuel to move your vehicle and make it operate. So you can collect fuel by going to the fuel can icon and collecting fuel with your hammer or sledgehammer. Now that you have a fuel vehicle, you can use it to move supplies or support the front line. This is when I like to use team chat to figure out where supplies are needed and what type of supplies and where half track support is needed on the front lines. Foxhole is a sandbox game, so a key aspect of the game is to make different defenses around your towns and front lines. Equip your hammer and press B to bring up your build menu. Select a defensive structure or wall type you wish to build. You can rotate the orientation of the structure by holding right click and moving your mouse. You can confirm your building by left clicking and start building it with your hammer with the correct material in your inventory. Placement is key for good defenses and holding your front lines. Some defenses such as foxholes can be gotten into by pressing Q, but will also automatically fire at close enemies even if no one is in the foxhole. But the benefit of having a foxhole and getting inside is that you take less damage from infantry fire. You can build outposts and barracks which allow you to set up spawn points on the front line similar to town halls. Combat time baby, let's go shoot some enemies in the face. So now you have a gun, some ammo, and some other supplies you've gathered around the buildings we discussed. To aim, hold right click and a white line and cursor will show you where you are aiming. You can see further into the fog of war by dragging this cursor to the edge of your screen. The mortar and the HMG will require you to be crouched using C or prone using X to use them. After that, they will fire in the same manner to the basic weapons. Note that there is friendly fire in Foxhole. Do not team kill. You will be banned if you over team kill. So be careful where you aim and where you throw grenades. The same goes for all the vehicles in the game. Be aware where friendly trucks are around you because you will be run over. It happens countless of times because people are just running down the road. So please do not run down the road, run on the side of the road so you do not get hit by trucks. Now that you've learned the basics, you're ready to get into the war. Time to ship out, soldier. You have more to learn, but this information should get you started into a really exciting and intense game that is Foxhole. Thanks for watching this video. If the video helped you, make sure to punch that like button and subscribe to this channel for more Foxhole tutorials and videos to come. My name is Nate, and we will see you epic people on the battlefield of Foxhole. What is up, epic people of the internet? My name is Nate, and welcome to my first impression review of Foxhole. So Foxhole is a massively multiplayer game where you will work with hundreds of players to shape the outcome of a persistent online war. This is the 